this starry night, young Jebediah Kerman, while on the moon, looks to the stars. And he wonders, will there be anyone coming to save me? The answer, Jebediah Kerman, is yes. In the form of a glorious space station. With rockets and stuff. Okay, so hopefully if this works right, this, this will launch into space with the help of these two things right here. And then when this gets in orbit around the moon, it's gonna launch one of these lander things, which then Jebediah Kerman can walk to, and then this will launch itself back into the orbit with this one, and we'll be able to maybe go back to Earth. Who knows? No, that's not gonna work because this needs... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Okay, there. I added a, I added a docking port. These need docking ports, too. <laughs> this is the hardest thing. There. Now everything has docking ports. It should be fine. Should be. Now the only thing left to do is to name this thing. I have the perfect name. The Electric Eye. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, just tension ruined. This will probably fail horribly, but you know, hey. When have we let that stop us before? No, never. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so I basically just put more struts, like, ev like everywhere. Um... Maybe this will do better. Who knows? Okay. Well, nothing's destroyed. So, um... Let's go ahead and, uh, throttle up. Here we go. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh. See? Things could have gone horribly wrong if I didn't notice this. Gotta put that there. Now we're ready. Haha! <laughs> Science! Engaging thruster boosters in three, two, one. I didn't put an SAS module on this thing, oh crap. Oh, oh well, it's gonna be easy. I'm gonna be able to do this no problem by hand. Okay, so we just ran out of fuel and we're nowhere near space. It's fine, we'll just, you know, engage the next step and lose control of this thing entirely. No, it's fine, it's great. I like, we're falling really fast. Put this is to maximum, we're gonna see if we can... Nope, 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 nope. No, no, no. So I put an SAS module on it and I warped it to daytime. So now it looks prettier. Let's see this horribly fail again. Well, that's that's one way to do it. And there they go. The majestic rockets fly into the atmosphere and into our hearts. What? That's not what I wanted. You know, I've never actually used this cockpit before. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Wow. It looks great. Oh, look, snacks. Some other things. Some more things, a fuse box. What? Ridiculous. Someone ate all the snacks? Well, there's only one person in here, and that's me. So I guess I'm writing a note to myself that I ate all the snacks. Just in case I forgot. We're gonna run out of fuel before anything happens. Look, see, out of fuel. Not even in orbit yet. Now I think that whenever I detach these things, I'm not gonna be able to control them because I think he's in there. And this is the worst space station because like I said, it's not even in orbit. But hey, let's see what happens anyway. Nothing, nothing happens. So here it is. The new, the new, amazing, rebuilt Judas Priest reference. Da 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 da, bum bum. It looks a bit more like a space station now, doesn't it? This looks like one of those things that you used to put on the ground, and you would turn it on, and it would vibrate, and it would be like rubbly 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 rubbly. But the idea is that here's a space station. You're gonna dock your things here. I think in order to make the things that are gonna dock into there, I have to launch those separately. So that's gonna be. Fun! Anyway, this should, we really shouldn't have any problem getting this thing into space. See, so yeah, I put five rockets on him. Five rocket engines on it because, hey, why not, right? That's right. Genius. Okay, is anything crashing? Is it good? Is it good? Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Let's throttle up. Highest percentages. You ready, Bill? You ready, Bill? 
You ready, Bill? Bill! He's ready. Three, two, one. Oh god, that's already looking horrible. Oh god, I didn't put... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. There we go. Hopefully these things just don't go flying off everywhere. That would be bad. Okay, gonna decouple now. Will things go horribly wrong? No. No, everything's gone horribly right. That's a change. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We made it. We made it. There's our periapsis. That means we have an orbit around the planet, but we're still probably gonna die. I mean, if we kept this orbit, we would die. Because of the gravitational pull. We'd still be dead, okay? It's still not great. I mean, we're not going that far. Look how fast this is going. As in, it's not fast. Go! Go, little electric guy! Into the sun! That looks cool. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like we actually know what we're doing if we just, like, you know, look at this. And there is the continent of... Kerbasis. Known for its many, many grapes. That it can grow even in tomato season. Wow. Dear Apoapsis, you are the slowest thing ever. Why? Why is there no more fuel going there? Anyone? Anyone want to take a guess? Extend these things so it looks like a space station. Wow. So spacey. Okay, so I, I changed some stuff. I also learned this trick where you can like, uh, it's not important, okay? It's not. Hopefully nothing will go horribly wrong. Well, something went horribly wrong. I'm sorry, grape continent. Hopefully none of those hit you. We don't mean to go to war. Yeah, so I added some struts so that doesn't happen again. Uh, the grape continent sent their regards saying they understand. Hopefully we don't feel their grapes of wrath. Okay, now you see when this liquid fuel, when these two liquid fuel things are done, I'm gonna push the space bar and hopefully we can just get rid of them, making the rocket way less. Let's see if it works. Huh? Oh yes. Oh yeah. It's also a good way to, you know, bomb your research center down there. Oh man, look how far we're getting. We're almost in space and we're not even done yet. Oh, that was such a good idea. Some people say you should start your gravity turn, you know, before you get to s space. Those people are weird and boring. It's much more fun to do it while you're in there because then you waste a bunch of fuel and then you just get mad at yourself and then you, you know, you drink a bunch of Pepsi and you're like, why am I so fat? And you're like, no. Oh, look at this. Who knew that putting bigger rockets on your rocket would make it go faster? Did we run out of fuel now? Did we really? Did we really run out of fuel? Okay, no. We just have mysterious circumstances that make me stop using fuel. Well, technically, we are orbiting the moon. So, technically mission complete? There she is, though. The electric guy. The satellite. That will save Jebediah Kerman. Bill's so happy. He's so proud. And he's somewhere on that moon. I only have one question. Does that cockpit look ridiculous enough? I think it does. Now someone said to me, Hey, how are you going to get this thing to fly when you need to, to rescue someone? And I was like, with robots. So we got all these batteries to power a robot. The robot has a hat so it can dock to the spaceport, and the rest is basically the same. I added some super strong landers so hopefully one of them doesn't break off, and we're gonna name this one the bot. Nick. God, how come every time I start a mission it starts off at nighttime now? What is this? Oh no, no! We got to put struts on it, oh god! No, wait a minute. This pod here only holds one Kerbal, so he has to leave. Let go. Go away, this is not your mission. Okay, thanks. So, after much deliberation, Bob Kerman has decided that he will in turn live on the moon in order for Jebediah to return home. That's nice of him. I just 
wanted to hear the song that it was making. <laughs> oh, man. What? What? No! Crap, crap, crap! Oh, oh, saved! Yeah! Oh, no, no! Crap! <laughs> when no one else survives, Droid does. Oh, well, there goes one of the things. There, oh. Will the next one come off? We don't know. Oh, everything came off. What? I heard an explosion and oh crap. A rocket overheated and it exploded. Now we only have this crappy lander thing. It's not landing anywhere, so we'll just put this down and imagine what could have been. Oh god. Oh no. That's not what we wanted. Oh. Oh, and now we're out of fuel. Blasting off into the atmosphere. No, this is great. He's happy, look at him. Can this small puny baby rocket save us from certain annihilation of blasting off into the unknown? And we're coming back. So we're out here in space. Um, orbiting the Earth, and we are out of electric charge. So we can't move. See me moving down there? See me? I'm doing stuff, but it won't move because reasons. You know, it kind of looks like a sonic screwdriver with a with a rocket. Will we ever be able to save Jebediah Kerman? Bob Kerman doesn't know. He's freaking out right now. Stay tuned for the next episode of Kerbal Space Program Operation Save Jeb Badiah. Exciting.